really exploring. Oh, 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 big crawl. That's definitely a fed, dude. It God. Oh, dude, I see something. Look, look, I just got him out of the sand. Dude, yes. Hey, these guys are some beautiful aquarium fish. Oh, dude. Okay, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. What? Beautiful little plecos are catching out of this tongue. Oh, my God. Is that one? Yeah. Right oh, there. We're hitting the jackpot right now. Welcome back to Rob's Pod, guys. In today's video, we're going to be trying to catch some exotic aquarium fish from this hidden tunnel. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And get right into the video. So we're here at a location where we've caught sea puffers, albino plecos, and all sorts of exotic fish. So the goal today is to net around and see if we can't catch any more. There's a lot of submerged things in the water that we could use to actually catch the fish. But before we get into today's video, Video guys I have to thank the video sponsor for today because Bobby has actually been sabotaging my car yeah it broke down yet again but before we get into today's video guys I want to talk to you guys about today's video sponsor Hemiway now if you guys use my discount code ROAQU you will get $50 off the Hemiway fat tire zebra e-bike first I'll show you guys a couple features about the bike it is an insanely well-built bike it's really really nice so we'll get into it right now now behind me guys is the e-bike and this thing is an absolute beast of a bike it's basically an electric motorcycle it's like a little dirt bike that's what it reminds me of but this thing is an absolute animal um, I'll show you guys how fast it is in just a second but what I want you guys to know about this here bike right here it can go up to 80 miles per charge so if you're really struggling with transportation and traveling and you need something that's not a car but functions more or less like a car this is the thing for you this thing will rip up the sidewalks terrorize children not actually that's a joke um, but this bike really does tear it up it goes 23 miles per hour comfortably it's like the easiest thing to ride um, actually speaking of which I think I'll try to ride the bike with you guys and show you this is probably gonna be a mistake so this is definitely going to be a bad idea because you'll see in a second this thing picks up but all you got to do is throw this little key right in here and then literally it's as simple as putting this on and if you really wanted to i didn't attach it but there's actually a headlight that attaches to this as well but basically guys as soon as you pull this little throttle back it will go so i think i'm gonna th try to throw you guys ahead of me and hold the handlebar and we're just gonna go for a little ride all right guys so we are now on the bike let's see how this goes we're off <laughs> we're off okay so now we're on the bike i'll turn around and we're gonna go 23 miles per hour all right so this actually is working better than i thought i just don't know if you guys can hear anything but i think we could smoke bobby's denali in a drag race hopefully my camera doesn't come flying off but just like that I've already traveled like half a mile in that little frame. So we're gonna turn around. I'll give you guys like the little POV, but you got a nice little display right here. This bike is seriously super high quality. I've literally only driven it <laughs> 1.6 miles, but honestly, anytime my car breaks down, this is probably gonna be my daily driver because this thing is really fun. I don't know if you guys can hear anything. <laughs> But I really do enjoy this product. I'll give you guys a little bit more details about it in just a second. But this thing is really, really fun to use. Super, super simple. Um, really can't go wrong with it. It charges up in like a few hours, like a handful of hours. And just a pretty enjoyable little gadget. Like it's super neat. If you can afford one, use my discount code. Um, save you a couple extra bucks. But it's really, really nice. Like, I actually really do enjoy using this thing. And it could pedal too. So before we go and get started with today's video, guys, if the Hemiway Fat Tire Zebra Bike is something that interests you, just know it has a 48-volt, 20-amp Samsung LG lithium-ion battery. The single range of the Hemiway Zebra can go up to 80 miles per charge. The 960-watt our capacity provides a 60 mile range on pure electric power all the wires like you might be worried about like the functionality functionality like you know whether or not it could be weathered and all the wires are actually built into the frame 95 percent reduction in mechanical failure due to extreme weather and it will maintain 80 percent capacity battery capacity after a thousand charges the motor is a 750 watt gear hub motor with upgraded inner ring. It's got high end hydraulic disc brakes. So 
The brakes are back here. Something where in case in here, it's got these super, super nice brakes. The bike is super high build quality. It's all metal and no plastic. It's an aluminum frame. And the Hemiway uses higher quality materials for the frames, which bring stronger triangle stability, three times thicker and sturdier than other competing frames of the market. The load capacity is greatly enhanced because you know, I'm a big boy and they promise a 10 year frame damage replacement service. So overall guys, this bike is pretty insane. I'll give you guys a little close ups of it just in case you missed it, but the brakes lines are right here. It's got a really clean and super simple display right here. Really nice machining, really nice design. When you feel it, it feels super high quality. It's got a nice little rack right here to put a backpack or possibly even another person. It's screwed into the frame. The motor right here is great. The kickstand is thick. It's not going anywhere the pedals even the pedals on this thing are really nice everything about the hemiway vat tire zebra is incredible and with the sponsors for today's video out of the way guys remember to use my code but now we're back at the canal guys and we're ready to fish for these exotic aquarium fish there's a hidden tunnel right here that we will be exploring looking for some but before we go into that i actually wanted to fish around the perimeter a little bit to get an idea of what's actually around oh but i got some help dude are you serious they made a figurine of me oh, let me see that okay wow that is so awesome dude guys if you want to purchase your own rob's aquatics figurine they're only two thousand dollars link below i'm my only fan just yep. kidding i don't have one I don't even know how to put that in the video, but we're just gonna get right in here <laughs> and see if we can catch any fish. Yes, babe. That was a really good net, and I'll honestly. What was that? <laughs> we'll throw this right up here. I'm coming, Rob. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty athletic. Thank you. You like look really good today, Bobby. Thanks, dude. What What do you like most about me? I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> It's really those like really thick, beautiful lips you've got. Yeah? Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, good news. Bobby is feeling better thanks to you guys liking the video and subscribing. So yeah. make sure you do so again just to cure his illness. Yeah, I still have a little cough, so you a few more he, likes. He's not a hundred he's not a hundred percent yet, but So we need more likes, guys. Way more. Ooh, I <clears throat> caught some stuff. <clears throat> my voice is also gone, so if you want my screams back, we need at least 5,000 likes. Well, for that, we actually might need to get him some surgery, so drop a super <laughs> face. <laughs> but let's see. We got some grass shrimp, some baby tiny little mollies. I mean, the sun's been oh, out. Wow. It's been really warm, so the color on these fish is getting incredible. Like, everything's looking so much better coming from the canal. And these plants are gorgeous, but nothing too, too crazy yet. Is this a Christmas tree? Is that... A Christmas tree. This is a Christmas tree, right? Yeah, sure. Tiny little fish. I mean, nothing Dude, too crazy yet. I think you might have to get your, your, you know what, in that tunnel. I think we might have to. <laughs> I think we might. That's where the fish are, bro. I've caught baby clowns here too. You know like what? right That's in the waterfall. A good idea. Try I'll to try scoop to there. Under. Yeah, because I've caught little baby clowns. Yes. Oh, oh you caught a really, deer. Bobby. I'm sorry. That's so unprofessional. Ew. That's gross. This is old, old. Did I throw it in the road? Yeah, he tried to hit a car. Or hit that guy. Hit that guy riding the bike. Hey. <laughs> but right here, we've snail. got... Snail! Yeah, a really nice Colombian ram's horn snail, actually. I used to keep these. Okay. But nothing too cool. Enough with the fairy tales. Put a net right here. Ton of snails, ton of little bugs. I think I need a bigger net. Size does matter sometimes. Yeah, you've been burdened with small things your whole life. You deserve a bigger net. <clears throat> yeah. So now we've got a bigger net. Hopefully this is what we'll be able to actually catch some fish with. What a nice upgrade you got there, dude. I'm, I'm proud of you. Dude, do I look handsome? Yeah, the light. Yeah, it's hitting you really well. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to focus on the camera right now. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh my God. Okay. We had to have caught something in this. <laughs> that was such a big net. Come on. Come on, flower horn. Guys, come on. Arapaima. So nothing in that net. We'll just keep working along. Boo, you suck. This is up. Get off the stage. <laughs> so we're not actually catching that many fish here, guys. We've had a ton of success in the past, and so we're going to keep trying, but I'm thinking about it right here, guys, with my 200 IQ brain. 
And I'm thinking we'll take a couple more nets right here just because we know the fish in that canal are also probably in this canal. So we'll try our luck. And if we don't catch anything in one or two more nets, we're actually going to start fishing the other side of this tunnel because that way the fish we scare won't swim that way back to the main canal. They'll swim back this way towards the wall right here. So we're gonna try to do that. But first I'm gonna actually try to get some more nets right here just because we do know, like we've caught so many cool fish here before. This is where I caught my big fire mouth too, literally right here. Yeah, so we know there's a good amount of fish. It's just baby Oscars, dude. But it goes on and on. We're just not catching them. I'm seeing nothing in here. We're gonna take in a couple more nets by the waterfall. Now that it's murky, actually, it might actually work even better. Oh, look at this. But, oh, you're free up the water. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Get some flow in there. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. You guys are welcome. <clears throat> You're like but, you're like the opposite of a beaver. Yeah. Even though I'm you look like one. What? You look like a beaver. Well, we didn't catch anything right here. I'm getting annoyed with this, guys. I want to catch some cool exotic aquarium fish. So we're gonna go to the other side. All right, sweetie, you're on camera. You ready, baby? You're on camera right now. All right, guys. So we're now at the second half of the canal. You can see the water level. Dude. I mean, we tell you it's been hot. It's been hot. Oh yeah. Look at the water line. <laughs> so actually, we should- Look at the plants flourishing though. The plants are looking like actually incredible. Look at the green. Yeah, you gonna take Guys, these? There's no editing to that. Like it's just so lush. It looks nah, so good. This is actually photoshopped. <laughs> okay. I'm actually not even gonna net that. Oh, there's a pipe trap right here. Fuck, right. it's attacking me. Working on my hibachi skills. Get some manly scoops Oh, in there. what is that? Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking oil. That's good. That looks delicious. That makes me hungry. Oh, dude. Please tell me. Tell me why? Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why? So massive shrimp. That's cool. Any big water bugs? Not cool. <laughs> Hate those things. You Okay, you know what? I've had enough of sitting on the sidelines. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's thick. It's really thick. Oh, it's so... Really gonna work. Yes, it will. Watch. Look what I caught. Look at that. You caught a fish. Okay, I'm embarrassed. I give up. Yeah, you should quit. <laughs> so guys, I'm actually going to be running the Bass Fishing Productions channel from here on out. Yeah. Congrats. We'll push through, bro. All right. Oh. 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 Big crawl. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Hey, come here. Let's feed it to Big Abby. crawfish. Do you want to? We could. We could. I feel like that'd be kind of mean, so. I got her trained on tilapia, please. <laughs> yeah, we, we got her eating tilapia. Oh, baby crawfish. Where? Right there. Right where? Right there. I don't know where there is. By your foot. Oh, hey, buddy. Aww. Aww. You know you. Yeah. So we're catching a lot of crawfish, which is actually kind of unusual for this spot. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out not forever. Oh, we're getting attacked. Drone, drone strike. <laughs> drone strike. <laughs> drone strike. Dude, drone strike. <laughs> drone strike. <laughs> Let's get in the water, guys. Oh, look. There's a drone right here. That's definitely a fed, dude. That's a fed if I've ever Look at it one. just acting all like it doesn't exist. Yo, try to mess with it. See if it's a drone or not. They're spying on us for sure. You want to cuddle or something? Oh, that thing's not real. <laughs> yeah, we're on you. Yeah, dude. Oh, look at him. He's repositioning. The IRS thought they would fool us. Yeah. DEA thought that we would be fooled by their silly little drone. Dude, I warned you about committing tax fraud. <laughs> yeah. Dude, all the cool kids are doing it. Oh, <gasps> Rob! No, it, no, no, I don't think you got it, dude. No. You're gonna have to, like, slow-mo it or something. There was an orange fish. Like, literally straight orange. Dude. That could, it could have been an orange crawfish. I don't even know, dude. It was so orange, though. That makes me sad. No, I knew it. I Guys, if you want the uncensored version where Rob goes in here naked, that'll be on Patreon. <laughs> yeah. It does get really deep over here. Oh, there. Oh! Oh, oh what is that, oh. Rob? What is that? Super nice jewel. Really? <laughs> Don't tell me it slipped through the crack. It slipped out, Rob. No, it slipped out. Bro, is that what? I just saw a huge crawfish slip through here, too. I saw a big jewel. Yeah. Get, go again. Come on. You got to get lucky. Bro, it's the net. Oh, that sucks. That is so sad. <laughs> dude, that is actually so sad. I caught such a nice jewel and such a big crawfish. Oh, dude. Oh, there you go. That was a good scoop. Dude, I think everything just keeps slipping through. <laughs> I think I felt the pipe trap down here. Really? Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> what? You told me to throw it to you. 
Guys, I have clothes on, okay? But it's getting kind of deep over here. Oh my. All right, so there's a pipe trap. <laughs> like if you want to see his butt. I gotta try to find the bottom of this. Yeah, I got a good shot right now. I'm ready when you are. Bend over a little more. Yo, I can't see the, the, oh. Oh my God. Please tell me that caught something. Oh my, he's taking his anger out on the creek. Is that a fish? Where? The dead thing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I oh. think that's a bird. Oh, and you're in that water. <laughs> yeah. There's a dead bird, guys. Nothing in the pipe trap. Oh, buddy. Jesus Christ. Anything <laughs> worth... Oh, I know what happened to that. What? Uh, they turned the Bluetooth <clears throat> off. Right. We're still working down the canal, guys. Truthfully, the fishing has been really weird today. But we're trying our best to try to catch some fish. I mean, we really can't get past these mosquito fish, we just caught some killi or no, bluefin killifish, we just caught some. Beautiful color on these guys, but. Oh dude, the tire is right there. Oh dude. The freaking Playco, t uh, oh. Some bubbles. What was that? That's interesting. Here, I'll throw the net to the side and we'll see if we can get anything out of this. We tire. always catch all minor Playcos there. How should I do this? Should I just like pick mm -hmm. it up and throw it? I don't know, maybe be gentle so they don't swim oh. out because they'll suck on the inside of it. Yeah, facts. And they're pretty dumb, so yeah. So I'll just pick it up. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh dude, I see some. Where? Dude, look, dude, look, there's two of them in here. No, I there's see not. one. I caught him up on the ah. sand. Ow! <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Look, yeah. look, I just got him out of the sand. Dude, yes! A beautiful little pleco. Now, these guys are a little bit different. They don't look like true albinos, but they're like, they are albinos. If you look yeah. at the eyes, it's gonna be hard to get it. Hold on, yeah. But the eyes you can see are red, but they have this weird color. They don't really look like a normal pleco would. I think it's that's those are chocolate plecos, I think. Though. Yeah, but he's a beautiful fish. And then if you guys look in the tire, so in the tire we actually caught another one. You see him swimming right here? Oh, oh no, don't yeah. swim out, pal. Don't swim out, pal. We caught a second chocolate pleco out of here. These guys are some beautiful aquarium fish. Really nice to see that they're actually still here. We did catch a breeding pair of these guys last time we we're here. That just means that there's actually a whole population. I'd go through the sand because last. Last yeah. time, that's how I found those of mine. They were in the sand. Oh, you know, dig the, through the sand. Dude, the feds watching us. Dude, can you get out of here? <laughs> but I think these two are the only ones we caught out of this tire, so I'm gonna put this back in the water. Dude, you definitely lost a bunch when you manhandled it like that. I probably did, but that- Cause like, these look really small. It definitely looks like a fresh little hatch. Yeah. And they have a lot of babies. So luckily this creek water is like super clear. I just saw a huge cichlid actually just swim out there. But we got these two fish we just caught. We're going to throw them in the bucket. Super hot start to the day. We're going to keep going, keep netting around and see if we can't pull up any more of these exotic plecos. So I'm thinking guys, you see our little friend right here? Yeah, a little gang stalker. The little gang stalker, he's hanging out over there. So I'm thinking that's probably where the fish are. We're mm. struggling to find them ourselves. But we'll what if we out. ask him like tips yo dude how are you uh catching all these fish oh come on don't be like that dude that is so that's not cool that's bro. so selfish unbelievable <laughs> we're gonna start netting around here look he dude that's a dinosaur this guy this guy sucks yeah <laughs> this guy really sucks <laughs> is that another dead bird we keep finding dead animals yeah unless it's just the water maybe we're next oh yes oh look at all what these fish that? hello get a real job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I wish. Psych. What is it? What did you get? I don't know. Let's see. Look at this idiot. He just jumped out of the water. Oh my god. There's boats too. Oh. Yeah. Dude, sick. Fine. That's let's... like. We'll, let's name that SS Rob. SS like and subscribe. SS super thanks us ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, that was a really good net. That was a really good net. Get her up there, son. Dude. Just gonna keep digging and flying, flopping this stuff around, see if anything shakes out. Cause this stuff is super thick, super hard to look through. So we'll see if we actually caught anything in here. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna move. Right. Look, look real tough. <laughs> Maybe we've been catching them this whole time, low key. Cause but if you look right anything. here, dude, it is literally oh right there. Oh my God. Oh dude. They blend in so, so they well. They blend in so well. They look just like the sand we're catching. I didn't them. even see it. Yeah, I... <laughs> even after you pointed it out. That was actually really hard to see, but you could see this one a lot better. These are actually albino chocolate... 
pluckos. Really cool little fish. We're gonna put them in the bucket. Very cute little guy. And we're gonna keep fishing because now we're actually starting to catch them. For whatever reason, we weren't catching really much there, but now we're actually starting to catch some of these nice exotics. So the fishing here has been really tough, but regardless, we got our little gang stalker with us. And so we're gonna keep trying our best to catch some fish out of here. Another gang stalker. <laughs> Are we able to show his backyard? I don't know. He was poking through the fence looking at me. The dog? No, him. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me some gabagool. Any gabagool in there, nah, nah. All right, guys. So it's not looking like we're getting any gabagool in this. So I think what we're going to do is I really want to go back over there by the hidden tunnel because that's generally where the plecos like to hang out. And we know they're in here. We've been catching a few. So I think the best move is to actually head back over to the hidden tunnel and start fishing. We're now at the hidden tunnel, guys. And we're going to work our way back in there. In theory, as we scare the fish, they should just work their way further back. So we're going to make our way in here, work our way real slow. Before we get in there, just real quick, just get that away. And we're going to start working our way in here to see if we can find any fish. Oh, God. I can't believe you're making me do this. Here, look close. Oh, dude, okay, don't move, don't move, don't move. What? The bucket might sit here, it might sink, oh. hopefully it doesn't fall over. Oh, I'm trying to dude, get it. I see a pleco. Really, where? If you look right there, oh, I see a pleco. Oh my god. I thought uh, you meant a normal pleco. Okay, guys, so right here we have a albino Oh, he's gone, oh, he's oh, out of here, oh, he's, he's out of here. Dude, okay, this is gonna be hard, but not impossible. Dude, I think with the flow, it's gonna work in our favor. The flow we opened up earlier. Where is he? Look, oh, he's, right, he's right here. We're literally just playing tag right now. <laughs> it's hard to net juke here, but I just caught him with my hands, guys. We got another albino chocolate pleco. Super, super cool find. There's something crawling on my arm I'm trying to ignore, but we caught another pleco out of the hidden tunnel. Was that three? Dude. Uh, is that the third one? That's four. We caught four Wait, already. What? That's actually pretty sick. There, we got to be really careful working our way through this. And also, I'll just drag the bucket along as we do. Oh, there's so many fish. There's a lot of fish. But now that I know we're able to see the pluckos in here, I'm not too interested in them. Any pluckos? Anyone home? Oh, right here. Dude, Wait. yes. Oh. Right there. <laughs> Dude, this thing is full of these little plecos. Now, I'm gonna try to catch this guy with my hand. They're so easy to spot. Yeah, they're really easy to spot. They do blend in pretty good. Boom, just like that, guys. Another aquarium fish in the bag. Beautiful little plecos we're catching out of this tunnel, guys. so dark. Look at him wag his tail, but yeah, he is dark. But like I said, the eyes are actually red. So these are albino alien fish in the sewer tunnel. So we're gonna get him in the bucket as well. That is now five on the day. Jesus, so. dude. Yo, check that can. There could be one in that can. Yeah, we'll see. Or that bottle too. Yeah, let's, oh, this is empty, but we'll check it anyways, just to see. Be one sticking in it. Hello. No one's home. No one's home. Let's check this bucket over here. Bottle. Oh, there's gotta be something in there. It's actually leaking out of the bottom, but I don't think there's anything in there. Nah. Pretty cool though. So we'll sink this and we'll keep exploring this tunnel. Oh, oh my here. god. Yo. No. Oh. No. Get off of him. Oh. Oh. Is it on you? No, no, it's on oh. it. It's swinging. Oh. Get it. Get, Get it. it away from my face. I can't. Get your ass out of no, my face. Can't. Dude, get off of him. Where'd he go? Ah! <laughs> no! That was in Where'd the he go? That is so scary, dude. That thing was just on my ass. <laughs> Where did it go? I don't know, look. Here, let me check. Yeah, let's check, please. Um, yeah, I think you're good. good. Okay. Let's keep working our way oh down. Oh my god. Are you recording? Yeah. Let's keep working our way down here. Here, let's check this bottle right here. Yeah. I don't feel like there's anything in here, but you know, it can't hurt to check. Hayden has a real problem. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything in here. Hello, any Hello. in the tunnel. There. I'm gonna check every single one of these bottles just in case. Oh, this one wasn't even really open. Also, wash our hands for spiders. Uh-huh, oh yeah, there's some coming up. Oh my God, is that one? Yeah! Right oh, there. We gotta be careful because I got the bucket here. I'll put the bucket in front of your feet. Just yeah. Please don't move. He's swimming towards us. He's stupid. Luckily, these guys are kind of slow. This flow has them feeling really comfortable. And just like this, guys, we're gonna be able to catch him. Look, he just kind of wow. goes right in the net. He Boom. Is dumb. Dude, this is so awesome, bro. The ability to catch these beautiful albino plecos is great. And you can see they're very healthy little fish. We're gonna get this guy in our little bucket. So that makes. 
six on the day. But we gotta keep our eyes peeled just in case we find any more alien. Oh my god, Rob, I think wait, you, wait, you wait, just wait. stepped on one, bro. I think so. No. I think so. Lift up your foot. Hold on. Wait, Did I really? Lift up your left foot. I think you stepped. Uh oh. Oh my god. Imagine. Did you step on one? I don't think so. I saw something, I think. Hold on. Yeah, he's right here. He's behind you. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Hey, get away from my butt. Look at that. Another exotic plucko. Dude, we're oh, getting the jackpot right now. They must have just had a spawn. I was just about to say, they're definitely just hats and they're just all together. With the warmer weather we've been having recently, they gotta be breeding. It's been really hot down here in South Florida, but here we go. We got another plucko, dude. This is insane. Let's check the rest of this tunnel. See if we can't find any more. So I think what we're gonna do is, guys, we're gonna head back, we're gonna pack up, and we're gonna get all these exotic alien fish that we caught out of the hidden tunnel and add them into one of the backyard ponds to continue growing out. Now we're back at Bobby's house at one of the ponds, and if you look right here, guys, we've been putting a lot of the fish that we've been saving from the abandoned areas we know and adding them in here. We just saw some angelfish down here, some goldfish. There's the big sword tails. Yeah, the big sword tails we caught out of that fountain. Oh, there's the angelfish, look at them. Yeah, look at that. That's from the abandoned pond. I think it's a breeding pair. Because you know how there's babies there too and they're together. Yeah, they've been hanging out a lot. Like a lot. Guys. Yeah, a little too much. Look they've at them. They're getting really comfortable. Look at them, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at them. Oh, yeah. And look, there's some plecos from the tunnel we caught prior. Oh, yeah. They're getting big. Very nice. Very <laughs> oh, there's nice. a fire reel too. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, guys, next video, I think we're going to go back to the abandoned fountain pond and drain it down and rescue the rest of the fish that could be there. I only know for certain that there is a goldfish still there because I saw it before we left last. But we'll do that, rescue all the tadpoles, all that stuff. But before we do that, we're actually going to add in these plecos we caught. Now, these guys are a lot darker than the ones we caught in the past. They are still albinos, so it could honestly just be the brighter color ones getting preyed on, some stuff like that. Just literally natural selection, but you can see them. They're kind of light, kind of albino. I mean, they got the red eyes, so they're definitely albino. Yeah, it's really weird. Maybe they'll like get lighter in here. I don't know. And I'm hoping that we uh, get to see the red tail catfish we actually saved from that abandoned pond. I decided, guys, we didn't name him in the video. So if you guys have a name suggestion for that fish, drop it down below. Since we caught it from a fountain, I think I want to name it Fontaine or like Mir. <laughs> if you know who Mir Fontaine is, then you'll know. But I think it's either Mir or Fontaine for me. Drop your name suggestion down below. But we're going to add in these plecos into the pond. Super cute little guys. They're going to adjust very well to this pond. And maybe we'll add a few into the backyard pond as well. Oh, look at Bruce. He wants one. <laughs> oh, no. Look at his little lip, dude. He's lip biting you. He wants oh. you. He wants you. I mean, who could blame him? Guys, leave a super thanks if you think I'm hot. But we got another pleco, and honestly, I kind of want to throw a few in the back, in the other backyard pond, the little pond. Yeah. With the rest of those cool plecos we caught from that right. other spot. But we're gonna add two more in here. We caught a total of seven, I believe. So we got two more of these really cool plecos right here. We're just gonna add them into the pond. They're gonna go off, they're gonna grow out, and they're gonna turn into some incredible aquarium fish. The rest of these, though, however, we're gonna be adding into the backyard pond, where maybe we get to see one of the axolotls we caught from the Everglades. Oh, look at all the fish, bro. Yeah, dude. Look at that. A oh lot of the fish God. we got out of the fountain are in here as well. Look at all of them. You love to see. Dude, them. they look so good. Everywhere you look. Oh, freaking yeah. But we got another one of these adorable plecos. Boom, off to the races. Perfect size to be grown out. And if my car was actually functional, I would bring one home but it isn't, so they're gonna be adding all these guys in here. They're so cute. There's an axolotl. Oh, there's an axolotl? Yeah, I see him. Oh, uh, we'll play with him in a second, but we got the last pleco we caught out of the tunnel right here. Super cute little dudes, very fun to keep. We'll put them there, and where's the axolotl? I'll let you try to find him. He's, he's in the frame. Dude, this pond is so cool. We literally have axolotls in here. They're doing great. <gasps> Bro! The white mollies had babies. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, look at the white mollies. They oh, in the in the orange ones too. Yeah. Here, oh, where's so that cool. little axolotl right, right there? He's right in front of me, right? <clears throat> we caught some baby plecos. Look at this axolotl, oh dude. Oh my gosh. This guy we caught from a fish trap, I believe. Yeah, but look how one, yeah. cute he is. So the axolotls are doing great in this pond, guys. They look adorable. We're gonna let them be. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. If you pity me, please leave me a super thanks because I'm poor. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.